ladies and gentlemen. So far, so good. First course, not bad, not bad. All right. It's, it's always nice whenever we're in the back and people are like, they want more salad. And you're like, wow, really? They want more salad? That's great. So that's awesome. So I love to hear that. That's killer. That's killer. Um, next, we've got a couple of dishes that are going to come out here. We have uh, some beautiful, beautiful North Carolina mahi that we've had here today. And I'll tell you, I cleaned it and it, it was probably some of the most beautiful mahi I've seen this year. And usually I see it around Father's Day that it's really, really nice. But for some odd reason, this stuff came in and it was, it's, it's beautiful. And, on, um, and then we've also got a, um, uh, a mahi and a chicken dish, a, a roasted chicken dish that we have, that we have done some, some sauteed Brussels sprouts. Now I know Brussels sprouts are, are the are the devil for everybody. They think that you know that that they've sat there and have eaten it forever and ever, and they just really are just tired of it. We feel like we've done um, a new twist on it. We feel that we we shave them instead of serving them whole. We add ginger and garlic to it. We let them cook for a long time. We use a little bit of broth. Um, but we don't cook it as long as we cook our collards so that we would feel like we still leave a lot of nutrients inside of that product. Um, Chef over here is sauteing up, I mean, dicing up a lot of red onion, and we're gonna use that, we're, yep, and we're gonna use that for, um, give you a little example of our black beans, and also, have y'all ever seen this? This, this crazy, this crazy uh, vegetable anywhere? I just saw it, you know, and I was in Harris Teeter, and it makes me laugh because my parents have been eating this stuff for years and everything, and all of a sudden Harris Teeter picked it up, and it's like a Chinese broccoli, and I love it, and it's so good, it's tasty, and we're just going to give it a little saute. Some of it's mixed in with the Brussels sprouts, so when you see those big leaves and stuff, don't get scared. It's got a little bit of a bitter, a little bit of a bitter flavor, kind of like broccoli does, but... Um, got a nice earthy tone to it so that way that chicken and everything will all mend together um, so so when we start our our um, I'm gonna have to skip to something else sorry um, we're gonna do the beans first and the reason for that is because we're just waiting on our guys to come out with the food it's like <laughs> 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 Let's try it. Ta -da! Oh, well, we'll just keep talking. So, <laughs> black bean salsa. And again, some super simple things that we like to do with the food. We take black beans. Um, if you want to use dry, that's fine. Sometimes we don't have a day to soak beans and then to reconstitute them and everything like that. So ones out of the can are super fine. Best thing, just like I'm sure all y'all know, is that we rinse them really, really well just to get that aluminum flavor out of it. I always add red onion. We add some red peppers in there just for some a lot of color. Also adds some of that spiciness to it. Um, salt, pepper. I love cumin and coriander are two of my favorite dry herbs. Coriander to me is is like honeysuckle. It's just it's the flower to the cilantro leaf and it just, it's got this very garden aromatic flavor to it. And so I just love it. It's one of those things that we just have a lot of fun with. Um, we're cooking on an induction burner. I don't know if a lot of y'all are familiar with that or anything. These are our new toys. If you plug them in and it's an instant on, instant hot thing, and then you can put your hand on it and it, it's like, you know, it's super cool. So uh, it's one of our new toys. <laughs> So after that, whenever we have all our beans, and then we just mix it all together. And, and then right before we go into a dry pan, and I like to use a dry pan just because I don't want the beans to mash. I don't want, I don't want refried beans. I want beans to kind of look their shape and everything like that, so that way they've got their size and all that to it. And I feel that it just works out better that way. Um, so I just have a nonstick pan, and then I put the onions in there. The onions are gonna create a little bit of natural moisture. And I'm sorry to be killing y'all over here. Y'all are good. <laughs> They're suffering a little. <laughs> um, and then I'm not even looking for a saute. I'm just more or less looking for them to be um, start starting to get a little clear and stuff. Da -da! <laughs> See, it worked like a charm. <laughs> 
And then we add our beans mixture. Um, and like I said, this is just a cold process. So you can make this a day out, two days out, and have it all ready to go. And then that night, go ahead and saute it up. Um, and then basically that's it. Inside of that mix, I've added ginger, and we've added some garlic, and then all of our dry ingredients. And so that way, um, it helps us, it helps me at home. I have three kids, wife, and I could put this in a container, and then that night, it's just a quick, a quick pickup. And this is our version for our fish. Instead of doing like refried beans, we'll do black and maki with some beans like this at home. We just feel it's a little cleaner for us whenever we're doing stuff like that. Um, that's been cooking maybe three minutes, two minutes, and that's it. That's it. I'm going to pull it off, and I'm not going to do anything else to it. So, yep, and um, and that's it. So that's that. Yeah, you can smell it. Rock it out. It smells awesome. All right, so uh, setting down in front of you right now, we've got those delicious Brussels sprouts. We've got a North Carolina uh, bone-in chicken that we've made with this killer roasted chicken demi broth. We, we basically, when we roast it, we use all the jus that comes from it. Um, the orange things that are on top are crispy carrots. So you take a look at that, that's something neat and different. And then we've got our North Carolina mahi. It's on top of a quinoa salad. And quinoa is a, a whole grain that comes from South America. It's a complete protein. It's one of those grains that are good for you to eat, good for you to just, they're just good for you all the way around. Um, we love it. We love it. Um, really good for vegetarians and vegans. Um, you can put any kind of base you would like with it. And just, it does have a really good job. The, the bread in front of y'all is a little bit of naan. Now, I had to find out from the doc. It's in moderation, okay, everybody? We're all in moderation. <laughs> so we've got our second set coming in, and we're going to keep talking while you are eating. And then if you have any questions, Chef and I are going to walk around to your tables and then have a conversation with you and uh, any questions about anything. The two dishes that we have coming out, again, the black beans that are making their, their appearance now, and um, North Carolina Pamlico Sound Shrimp, blackened, delicious. Um, Get that from B&J Seafood if y'all from around here. I just want you to know that it's one of our favorite seafood places. Yeah. They just, they've got everything around and we just have a really good time with them. Brent and Kathy Fulcher are killer people. Their uh -huh. seafood is fresh. They got a boatload of boats in Pamlico to catch their own shrimp, crabs, and stuff like that. So it's truly a fresh product. Um, and then after that, we also have oh, our root beer braised pork loin. And uh, it's coming with... A goat cheese scallop potato. This this dish, I was just back there tasting it. And I just want you to know, that's why we're not going to demo it. It just wouldn't do it any justice for us to take a shortcut whenever we have put this love into this dish. So taste it. Let us know what you think about it. That sweet potato dish, it's um, it's got a lot of fun stuff going on in it. We use, we use some agave. Um, we've got we've got honey pellets that we also use to get into that so that way we can substitute um, a lot of the sugars that come out of it. We've just gone a really killer long way with it. Um, took out the bread out of it and then replaced it with light cream and yogurt. So just whenever y'all are, just try it out. All right. Enjoy. Bon appetit again. <laughs>